Hi guys, it's Mary McIntyre. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Christmas in July collaboration with Claire's Crafty Corner. It's currently 29 degrees here in the UK, so thinking about Christmas is so weird. Um, I remember doing this last year, it was really hot as well. Um, what I'm gonna make this time is something that was actually inspired by Claire's videos in December last year and I did make a few of these but I just didn't make a video about it so what I'm gonna do is make some reindeer um, resin reindeers so what I was doing last year is um, taking some of the resin out and adding glitter into the antlers and also onto the feet so I'm gonna do the antlers with glitter and I'm gonna use this gorgeous glitter that I got from the works. It was a pound for this massive tub, so it's beautiful as well, a beautiful kind of coppery bronze color. Is it bronze? I don't know. It's nice anyway, it's not that yellowy gold that I'm not the biggest fan of. To change it up, rather than just doing glittery boots, I'm gonna actually use a bit of foil. Reason for that is that the glitter stuff will creep down and I quite like the way it crept down from the antlers, but I wasn't as keen on the way it crept up from the from his feet. So I'm gonna use a little bit of these metallic flakes that I got from the range here in the UK. So they're very similar in tone, so I think they'll look good together. And then the rest of the reindeer are just gonna be black. The resin I'm using for this is the J Diction resin. It's a one-to-one -one ratio epoxy, and I'm gonna use the Vista liquid black pigment in that. So a kind of simple project, but these look so incredibly beautiful. And I made loads of them for Christmas presents last year, and they're so, so nice. So I'm looking forward to making a video on it because I didn't do that last time. So, right, let's get started. If I can get into the foil. I could pick some of this up with my tweezers and then kind of rub it into the mold with a brush. So I haven't done a massive amount with foil so I'm still finding my way a little bit. That's a chunky piece of foil. It's very very fragile and very very static so I'm just going to push that in with my brush and then it just naturally sticks to the mould. I may have to put a couple of layers on here to get coverage. I'd quite like the feet to be solid, solid um, coppery foil. But I have more control over how much of this is covered in foil than when I used glitter on these. was a nightmare that took forever the foil just does not want to stick to the inside of this mold um, so I've got no idea how that's going to come out and um, this one went on better but I just couldn't get the foil to stick so yeah I don't know how that's going to work um, and I'm going to mix up my resin now and I, I wish I'd just stuck with glitter for the feet as well it's the hottest room in the house and I'm currently roasting so I'm going to get my resin mixed up and poured, then I can get out of here before I faint. <laughs> so I'd mixed up my resin off camera and then I just poured some of that out into a separate beaker to add the glitter to because I wanted the resin that had the glitter in to be clear. I then added some black pigment. This is the Vista pigment, I think I said in the intro. And I wanted them to be black, but I also wanted them to be slightly transparent as well. So fairy lights would kind of shine through them a little bit. So um, yeah, I didn't add loads of black, but I added some. This glitter has a nozzle, which is awesome. So I dumped a load of glitter into that clear and mixed it up. And then I just kept checking it 
to see if I thought there was enough glitter in there. I didn't want to go too much glitter, but I wanted it to be enough so that you wasn't seeing through the clear resin. So I went back a couple of times and just added a little bit more until I was happy. And this bit is sped up. Um, <laughs> obviously I can't pour this fast but I was using a silicone beaker I just tried to carefully pour the antlers first the idea being that when you then pour the black in it sort of pushes that resin back up to the area that you want it so you can pour the glitter in any bit that you want but I was focusing on the antlers knowing full well that that glitter was going to travel and kind of work its way down the chest and um, yeah just the neck and chest of the, the deer once you add the black. So yeah, that's what I did. Just took my time with that, made sure that I had full coverage on all of those areas. And I kind of mixed up almost the exact amount of resin that I needed there. I did go back and add a little bit more afterwards. Now onto the black. So when the black hits there, it will push that glitter up and then the black will also pick up the foil. So like I did with the antlers, I was doing this slowly, just pouring it into all those regions, hoping that it didn't leave any air bubbles. So here I'm just going back with what was left of that glittery resin just to make sure that I had full kind of depth on the antlers. You can't really do that when you've only poured the antlers because the resin starts to self-level and pour out throughout the mould. Once the black is in and has pushed it back to where it is sitting, you can then go in and top that up and make sure that it's full enough. Now I was using a pin here, I was making sure that I didn't go all the way to the bottom because I didn't want to scratch the mould, but the first thing I was doing was making sure that the resin had fully gone around the hanging hole because I've had it before where there was a massive bubble and it means that the hole to hang it isn't complete. Quick blast with the flame and then I spritzed it with 99% alcohol just to help with bubbles. And here they are when they've just been poured. So you can see the glitter is already working its way down. So then I just left them to cure for 24 hours. Hi guys, it's been just over 24 hours since I um, poured these. They're, um, they're feeling pretty solid, so I'm going to demold them now and get some... Uh, wool on them to hang them from. Now I remember when I was demolding these last time uh, it's actually easier to put it flat on the table when doing the antlers because they're quite intricate and you don't want to risk snapping them. So put that, that way for now. Same with this one. Keep the pressure on the actual antlers while you peel the mould back and that stops them getting distorted or possibly broken. Popping out really nicely. There are some imperfections in this mould. It's not the best quality mould at all. So there are a couple of places where there's like a, a scuff in the silicone which leaves a, a little matte patch on the back. And there's also an imperfection in one of the, the hanging loops as well in one of them, um, which is frustrating, but it's a, the risk when you buy moulds at a budget price from Amazon. This one has the most intricate antlers, so take care with that one. Okay, let's have a look how they turned out. We'll start with this one. So pretty. 
I love it when the glitter slowly kind of comes down the body like this. So nice. Although there's not full coverage on the foil, I don't hate it. I've got a couple of annoying little air bubbles. Um, but yeah, I actually quite like that. It kind of looks like a, an antique gilded effect, which is cool. Awesome. That's the one that's got a little matte patch on his bum, so you could sand that and top coat it if you wanted to get rid of that. The I, the only foil or kind of pretty ribbon I have is gold, and it's it's going to clash, I think. This foil is more gold than this, but the ribbon is even more yellowy gold than that, and I think it clashes when you put it next to this um, coppery coppery coloured glitter so I'm not going to do that I'm going to use black um, I don't have any black ribbon at the moment so I'm just going to cut four lengths of this gorgeous a little patch of sun there oh so sparkly right let me bring you down to show you these up close so look at that glitter in the sunlight so pretty so nice So that's where you can see that the um, the foil's been picked up by the resin and it didn't give full coverage in the mould, but I don't hate that. I really like it. it. As I said before, it looks a little bit like an antique gilded mirror or something. I like it. I'm definitely okay with that. Probably a bit of overspill of foil to trim off there. I love this one with the really intricate antlers and the way that the glitter slowly creeps down. I just love that. That happened with a few that I made last um, last December. They're so adorable. I think they're fab. They just look there's something so classy about the the black with um, those golden copper colours. They're just lovely. I made some silver as well, and they look really nice. But these, although I'm not normally a, a kind of gold person, I prefer silver as a rule. But I love these. I made some white ones with silver antlers, and I thought they were gorgeous. And silver's a little bit more my cup of tea. But this glitter is gorgeous and as you saw that big tub was a pound and it's in a bottle with a little nozzle on it so it's so easy to dispense it without glitter going everywhere so yeah hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to check out all of the other videos in the playlist which is in my description box below thank you once again to claire for organizing this amazing open collaboration i'm really looking forward to seeing what everyone else has made and it's cooled down a bit today as well, so it hopefully won't be quite so... Um, when this video goes out, I'm hoping it's not going to be quite so hot <laughs> when we release these videos on Saturday. Okay, take care for now, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.
Christ almighty. Can I not shoot a single video without you photobombing? Yes, you rascal. Oh,